Here we have the CNC milling out a part for a 3D printer. And it's parts like this where building the CNC was probably the best thing I've ever made. This is quite complicated to cut by hand. Very simple to cut by CNC. It's got all the drive controllers and whatnot. And if we take a gander inside, it's opened up. Here's the piece right off the uh, right out of the CNC. It's hard to tell, probably, but we'll see if we can get it. If you cut this one way too slow, this one is cut at about 13 inches per minute, um, with a very very shallow depth. I can't remember what I was cutting at. Actually, I was cutting in uh, millimeters per minute, so I was at about 350 millimeters per minute, and I was taking a depth to cut of about 0.3 millimeters, which is way too small. But I had stuff to do it here anyway, so I didn't mind waiting the other. You know, the half hour, whatever this took to mill. So, I don't ever cut all the way through. I cut, this is probably cut just within a few thou uh, to, to punching through. And then after I just score it with a knife and it comes right out. This one you can even, you can just poke through with your fingernail. It's so thin, it's just like aluminum foil. So, it uh, holds work, or holds the work down really well. And uh, I don't have to use tabs that way. The magic of computer cutting. Alright, here's our final product after all the sanding. You can still see some tarnish and uh, oxidization on the aluminum. Um, that's just because I just sanded it to get the burrs off. I didn't go for any nice, you know, super high quality finishing sanding job, but it looks cool. I kind of like the, uh, the half sanded, you know, rugged look to it. So, should work real well.